Have you ever been on one of the nights out into a city? One of the night outs that begin at about lunchtime? They can be dangerous if you need to try and remember to get the last train home. Which is especially hard when you're about 20 pints deep in trying to find the strippers. Travelling into the city for a night out is one of those not so common occurrences. Unless you're growing a £100 notes in your back garden, most folk can't afford a tenner a pint. Pfft, how much? After I've changed my mind pal, can I just have a water? I always love it when you roll into the city with a big squad ready to get smashed at like 12 in the afternoon and everyone's like that. Right, where are we going first boys? I don't know, where do you think we should go? I don't know, I thought you knew. Oh for fuck. You end up spending half an hour in the train station standing about like you're having a half time team talk while some cunt's trying to boot up Google Maps on a 2G signal. Meanwhile one prepared pleb slips a can out his pocket and breaks the silence. Everyone just does that slow head turning stares. Mine. Keen on that look like he's just asked if he can go elbow deep in your maw. Standard procedure in the city is to have one can on the train in, and then one in each pub as you go, kinda like a pub crawl, which is all well and good until you hit the fourth pint and you've broken the seal. Then it becomes a mission trying to get from one pub to the next cause you're bursting for a piss every 20 seconds. Fucking brutal. Most pubs these days have bouncers in the door as well. Jobs worth that insist on ID and everyone at the door. But mate, he's 62. I'm no bark mate, I need ID. He's a fucking grander. I mean look at him, he's got grey hair and a walking stick. Sorry mate, still need ID. After gaining entrance to the pub and getting laughed at because of the picture on your provisional. Wankers. It's time for a piss, which means only one thing. No pack or a ban. You go home with a man. Aye, that's right. The bathroom concierge. The guy that stands and stares at you while you're having a piss holding a paper towel. He'll then offer to put some soap on your hands for you because apparently we can't be trusted to use a soap dispenser. I mean, without him I'd be banging it off the wall trying to figure out how the fucker worked, you know? Then he'll offer you a cologne from his varied and extensive range. At a quid a spray. Must be getting tired of the same part, eh? Folk walking past with coins chinking in their pocket. Aye mate, eh, um, no change. I'll get you the next time. If you decide to stay in that pub for a while though, you're fucked. Guys get a tick sheet up in the wall every time you go for a piss. Asking for IOUs trying to get you to write out a cheque to pay your tab. Gets to the stage the guy sending folk out to try and kneecap you for your debt. Now I just want to say that I didn't recommend smoking. It's a more expensive hobby than collecting the exclusive artwork of fucking Leonardo da Vinci. But if you do smoke, at least bring your own fags on a night out. Nothing worse than that guy that keeps tatting every time you're out for a smoke. Got a fag mate? Makes it worse when he follows up with, got a lighter or no? Aye I have mate, and guess what? You're no getting either, you cheap fag poaching bastard! Eventually you cave though, cause you can't be arsed listening to them. Either that or the, I've no go any left excuse, wore half ten fags ago. You've just got to watch he's no a lighter thief or no. We rats are everywhere. They stand and light your fag with your lighter. And then just before they get it back, they'll ask you a question. And as you think of a response, they slip the lighter into their own pocket. Robin, bastards man. Should be punishable with jail time. During your night out, there is one important aspect that must never be forgotten. Scran. If you're out for a 12 hour sesh, it's important you keep yourself topped up. But never make the mistake of getting anything with chips. Chips and cheese, chips and donor meat, a munchy box. Special if it's for the train home, cause as everyone knows on a night out, if you buy chips, they're no yours, they are everyone's. Oh, you've got chips, cheers mate, as he grabs a hond of about 40. It's usually the same cunt that's been ducking the rounds and tapping your fags on it as well. Before anyone asks who's round it is, he's slinked off for a piss, spending a quid on aftershave so he doesn't need to get around in. Because you're pissed it's hard to notice who's dodging the rounds, but the thing today is check to see who's stinking the aftershave. Good chance he's your round dodger. Last train the last train home is always a right off, full to the brim with bodies, packed in like sardines. You can it's bad when folk are doing a quick wee stretch before they board the train, doing a run and jump into the sea of people to try and squeeze one mare on. It's funny though cause you spend all night going, right, mind we need to get to the station before half past. You always end up legging it down the platform 10 minutes later with 3.5 seconds till the train leaves. Throwing bodies out the way trying to make the train cause there's no danger you're paying a hundred quid for a taxi. As soon as you get on and the door closes though, always some cunt drops a fucking stinking big fart. Dirty bastards. Anyway that's all I have time for in this video. If anyone's interested in doing a meet up in Glasgow this weekend, please make sure to follow me on Twitter, at BatchyHD, for more information. A link to my Twitter can be found in the description. Remember to leave a wee like on this video if you enjoyed and share it with your friends. If you're new, a wee subscription would be also greatly appreciated. 
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Or this weekend if you come to the meetup. Last train to Glasgow Central. Last train to Glasgow Central. You better catch this one, and you better have a ticket, because here's the man.